All right, now that we've done that, we need to, let's just save. And a simple way to save is just Control S. I'm just gonna go Control S. You don't really see what's see anything hap much happening here. And it just saves. And we're ready to continue on. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is you are going to create a new layer. And uh, the easiest way is to just click right here on the new layer button. It's also uh, Control Shift N you want the shortcut and we don't really need to give this a layer name but I'm just gonna call it starburst okay starburst okay click OK and so now we've got a layer you can't really see it because it's a transparent layer but it's on it make sure you click on it that it's selected and you're gonna click on what color you want your um, well, at least one of your color, your starburst colors to be. We can figure out the other one later, but right now this is just the one color. And I'm just going to start, just go with a red because that seems to be the, the popular sort of uh, starburst propaganda poster color. So I'm just going to give it a nice deep red there and click OK. And all you need to do is take the foreground color here and drag and drop it. Well, I guess not. In this case, uh, I guess I'll just use the paint bucket and dump it right there. Now, so look at your layers now. The layer on top, of course, is the one that we just created, the red one, and the, the layer underneath is here. Obviously, I didn't drop the color on this one because that would have been a problem. Now, you can also see that this layer right here, see this dotted line? Don't freak out when you see things like that. That's just where this layer is because remember, I moved it over. It's just an indication of the layer. It doesn't show up anywhere. Okay, so with that done, we're going to go up here. Oh, make sure you're on the right layer. Okay, we want to be on this one. Go up to Filters, Distorts, and then you're going to go to, oops, stay on Distorts, Blinds. Okay, with Blinds, you want to make sure that it's clicked on Vertical. And um, if you want, you can do Background Transparent. That would not be a bad idea click on background transparent now at this point you can decide how you want to do it um, if you want to have sort of an equal width um, I think well first of all we got to move this to if you want to do it equally move it to about this to about 65 and this to about I think 12 Okay, and you can see it's more or less, here I'll just make this 60. It's more or less equal. So we'll just do this just for now. But should you decide that you want to have a thicker line or a thinner line, well this is not going to work. Uh, thicker lines, you can, you can do something like this where you drag this around until you get just the right, whatever it is that you want it to look like. You could have something like that with sort of a thin, uh, line in between. So I'm just going to run this up to 60 and run this to 12 as I said. And if I wanted I could have 24 or what, whatever I want here. Okay. Actually maybe I'll make it 24 just let's see what that looks like and I'm going to click OK. Okay so now I have 24 equal lines. And again, it doesn't have to be equal sizes. The, the red can be thicker or thinner, however, or whatever color you choose, however you want it. And uh, let's just stop with that.